Hey, Flosstube, Vanessa, the singing stitcher here. Um, another haul video. Uh, before I went on vacation to Kelowna, Everything Cross Stitch had a 15% off of um, Halloween patterns. So I kind of spent some money. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're coming to you from the spare bedroom. And like I said, I'm a grown up that doesn't make my bed, and so is my husband. So um, I like blue plaid. These are pretty cool sheets. Anyway, pattern number one, Waxing Moon Designs, number 159, Midnight Manor. Oh, there's a bit of glare there, so let's try and fix that. So there we go, monochromatic. It's kind of cool. Next we have La Di Da Design, Something Wicked. By the tricking of, sorry, pricking, by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. So here we are. I like the something wicked, wicked this way comes. That's pretty cool. All right, next up, Glendon Place, Spellbound. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. Oh, glare. Glare is bad. There we go. There we go. Spellbound. I love it. Yeah, I'm too late to stitch for Halloween this year, but I really don't care. I have them for whenever I want to stitch Halloween. Next up, another Glendon Place. Murky Manor. So there we have... Oh, 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 I don't want that. There murky manner and let me just pick that up for a second yes it does require buttons so I will likely be purchasing the buttons yeah just another button company yeah and of course they I didn't even look because I just actually opened the envelope um, they require a few specialty threads like this one requires Karen wildflowers um, what about this one? Anything special in this one? No? PMC? Sweet. So that's those two. Next up we have another Glendon Place, and this is Ghoul School. And again, this one requires buttons, but uh, whatever. I can order those when I get around to it. And it requires a Karen Water Lilies. So that there is Ghoul School. And we have the last of the Glendon Place that I purchased. This one is Cruisin. Let me just see. We need Karen Water Lilies, Mill Hill, nothing too extraordinary, Krennic, whatever. New buttons. No. Yeah. So, there is Cruisin. Not really a cat person, but whatever. It's uh, it suits the the picture. So, lastly, we have Crosspoint Designs: Things That Go Bump in the Night. So, oh, the glare on that is bad. Let me fix this. There we go. Things that go bump in the night. Now, yeah, it looks like there's a couple buttons in there. But I have to open the bag. Yeah, it's just a ziplock bag, but I have to open the bag to see, to see what exactly I need. So that's that one. And then I ordered three Halloween magazines. I ordered the 2012 Halloween collection from Just Cross Stitch. And I have it. Uh, like I said, I have just gone through the, oh, glare, gone through the, or opened the envelope, so I have not gone through the, the magazine at all. Uh, it being 2012, I'm sure all of you who have this already know what's in it, so I don't need to flip through it. Um, I also ordered the 2014 and the 2015. Uh, the 2015 is on back order. 
And uh, so here's the 2014. Some of those are cute. Like I said, haven't had a chance to go through it. And for some reason, I will just show you that part. You see those ones all the way down? Yeah. They sent me two 2014 Halloween. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe give it away? I don't know. There's some other patterns I'm not really into, so who knows? Maybe I'll follow the trend of doing giveaway. It's kind of strange. Anywho, uh, that was it. This was received yesterday. So what the hell is the day today? Oh my god, it is Friday, September 25th. Yes, that would be it. So these were received yesterday. Um, my husband was quite worried because the package came and it was pretty much open. Um, you can see the envelope here. It's been some damage. So, and he immediately saw that it was from a stitchy website. So he pulled out the packing slip and made sure I wasn't missing any threads. He's so sweet that way. Um, so yeah, he made sure everything that was on the packing slip was on there, was in there, except uh, obviously the back ordered item. He's really good to me that way. So here we have it, my Halloween haul. No idea when I'm gonna start these. No idea at all. Um, I'm still working on the Frozen from Clouds Factory. So that's it for works in progress. Um, I may be starting the Dr. Seuss from Clouds Factory this weekend. We shall see. Um, it's a gift idea I have for someone. I don't really have a lot of time to get it started and finished so it's pretty small and they stitch up pretty quick so I don't know maybe tomorrow because I'm tired I've had a shitty week yes I said shitty um thank god we have two vehicles because my truck decided to die yesterday uh yeah it wouldn't start at the end of the day and as I have mentioned before my husband and I both work in Calgary, and we live about 45 minutes south of Calgary. So we were both in the city with a vehicle that did not work in two different locations. He was at work. I, of course, was on the bus when he figured out it wouldn't work. Excuse me. <coughs> so thankfully, I was on the bus with a coworker. And her and I went out for dinner and drinks while waiting to figure out what was wrong with my truck. Um, couldn't figure it out. Uh, here in Canada, we have the CAA, so Canadian Auto Association. The, you and you down in the States have it too, the American Motor Association. So here in Alberta, it is the Alberta Motor Association. So we are members. And so he called the AMA and they came out and said, no, it's not the battery. And so we used our free tow. <laughs> yeah, you get free towing. So we had that towed down, not quite to where we live, just a, a bigger town, probably about 20 minutes north of us, which is where I get all of my maintenance done. And uh, drop, the tow truck dropped it there. And then of course I was in contact with the dealership there today and they phoned me at about 4.30 today to tell me they think they know what the problem is. Uh, they will start work on it on Monday. So again, thank God we're having two vehicles because otherwise we'd be renting. And really, like, it sucks. So, so far they figure um, what they have to do to the truck is, is at least $500. So I guess that's not so bad. It could be worse. We will see on Monday what happens. So yeah, anyway, this video will be uploaded uh, when I get to work at the office on Monday. Um, who knows, I may film another one um, at some point this weekend. I'm working at the store, so I don't know. 
wait film one on Sunday. Who knows? I hope everybody's having a great stitchy day. Have a wonderful weekend and uh, take care. Thanks. Bye.